Sometimes people get really scared that they're going to give away all of their best information in a free YouTube video. And then what's going to be left there to charge for, or what are people going to pay them for? Now I get this fear, but I'm also kind of opposed to this way of thinking because I'm of the opinion that the more you share and the more you are transparent with sharing inside a free YouTube video, the more you're building a case for how good you really are and how much people should want to pay you for your products and services. But I do understand that there are some things that fit the free model better than the paid model. So in today's video, what I really want to share is the three kinds of content that are perfect for sharing in a free YouTube video and the three kinds of strategy pieces that you should think about that is really perfect for a paid model. So there are basically three simple rules to remember, which I'm going to share at the end for when to decide whether something should be free or paid. So the first free, uh, free model thing is when you are sharing something generic or like a frequently asked question. So if it's something generic, like if I say, oh, this is how you should improve your audience retention, that's pretty generic. Or if I'm answering a frequently asked question, um, Salma, how do you make a green screen video? Those are generic content pieces that should, that should and would sit on a free YouTube video model. So anything generic, anything that's frequently asked will help position you as an authority. It will help build your content value, but it's generic and it's free. The second thing that should be free are short, actionable pieces of strategy. So you can give away pieces of your strategy without giving away the entire plan. So for example, if I were to make a video content plan for a client, let's say a 12 month video content plan, um, there are a lot of different aspects that go into making a content plan for a client. I could give away one piece. Let's say I give away the piece on SEO, how to search engine optimize your videos within your content plan right? That could be one key piece of strategy. It could be actionable. It could be research-based. It could be strategy-based, but it's something that is short, actionable piece of strategy that I can give away for free without giving away the farm. The third kind of free content that you can absolutely share on your YouTube channel and you absolutely should share to build your authority is quick tips, hacks, and listicles. So listicles are obviously like numbered type posts, like three ways to improve your camera confidence or four editing hacks, right? Those are kind of listicle type topics, but also quick tips and hacks. So if I have like a quick tip on how to improve your thumbnails to look more consistent or a quick tip on how to uh, look more professional on video, that's the kind of content that I would share for free on my YouTube channel. Now, if you're enjoying this content, before we flip the script to paid, uh, go ahead and subscribe to this channel because I share everything that you need to know about growing your visibility, credibility, and profitability with YouTube. Hit that red subscribe button and let's move on over to the paid stuff. So what to charge for and not to include in a free YouTube video. So the first thing that I would charge for is custom advice. So let's say I'm doing a channel audit for a client. That would be very custom. It would be very specific to their channel. It would be looking at their particular metrics and their industry and their niche and their competitors and their capabilities. That would be custom. I would probably charge for that. The second thing that I would charge for is strategy as a whole. So remember in the free version, I said, you know, pieces of strategy, but if I'm making an entire strategy, let's say I'm making an entire content plan or entire YouTube strategy from A to Z, everything included, that is something worth charging for because that is more detailed and it gives value in terms of gives a roadmap to my clients to follow. And that is something very specific and very valuable and worth charging for. The third thing that I would charge for is anything in depth. So when I said free for tips and hacks and things, so the opposite is that something that you can charge for is in depth guides, courses, uh, full length trainings. So the more in depth you're going or deeper into a problem, the more you can actually charge for that because the value then becomes the fact that you are 
giving the entire solution, not pieces of a solution, but the entire solution. Which brings me to the three rules that you need to remember if you're thinking about should this be free or should this be paid? So here are the three C's that you should always remember. C number one is charge when it's custom. So if something is specialized, if something is personalized, then that's when you want to charge for it and not give it for free. The second C is complete. So charge for complete strategies, complete pieces, and not for a part of the solution. So when something is complete, you're giving the complete solution, the complete answer, then go ahead and charge for that. And the third C is consolidated. When something is all in one place, for example, a course, everything you need to know, including downloads, extra resources, books, video trainings, everything in one place inside a course, then you can charge for it. So the more consolidated your information is, the more chances are that that is value that you can charge for. So I hope that this helped you to determine what to give away for free on your YouTube channel or other social media and what to charge for. Put down in the comments below if this was helpful and which of the C's are you going to be using to decide whether it is something that you're going to give for free or something that you are going to charge for. I would love to know and I will definitely see you in the next video.